Good morning. I know you're here. Good morning, Miss Deepa. It's a bright morning today, guys. Good, good, good morning. Welcome to the PYP assembly. We're going to start in just a few minutes. We're waiting for our students and parents and teachers to join in, and we'll begin. Good morning, Inas. Good morning, Manpreet. Good morning, Rayana. Good morning, Jojo. I am well. Thank you for asking, Jojo. Good morning, Koshi. Good morning, Anahi and Mahi. Hi, Alishba. Hi, Amira. Nice to see you all. It's a bright new day today, guys, and it's Friday. Weekend's coming up, so let's see who is online. Good morning, Preeti. Good morning, Saira. It's a special, special day today, guys. Good morning. Let's begin our assembly today, guys. Good morning once again to all of you who are here. Keep joining, keep watching, keep commenting. I will see you guys. I'll say hello to you all very soon. I see Sonam is here. I see Mir, Darsh, good morning. Isabella is here. Vasudha, good morning. Good morning, Rayanj. Keep joining in, guys. Keep coming in. Let's begin. So, Firstly, I would like to mention uh, that our CIS visit has come to an end and we are very, very happy and thankful to all our parents, students and teachers who took in their uh, the special time out to speak to them, to be a part of this process. So from the bottom of our heart, we would like to thank you all and uh, as I said, thank you so much for, um, you know, putting in that effort to make sure everything goes smoothly and well for us. So thank you so much. Um, up next, I know that all of you all are waiting for our the special, the highlight of our disassembly today. Yes, the learner profile certificates. That's right. So we're going to begin right now. Let's see who is here. I see Sonal and Sanvi is here as well. Joyce, good morning, Miss Joyce. Elsa's here. Alina's here. So good morning, guys. So let's begin our learner profile certificate announcement, guys. Today is going to be a little different. Every time I start from KG all the way going down to grade 5. Now, today I'm going to actually start from grade fives going down all the way to KG. Yes, that's right. So let's see from grade five this week who has received our learner profile certificate. So from grade five, I hope you're watching. So grade five this week we have Mulenga. A big round of applause for Mulenga, everyone. <laughs> Alright, so Mulinga has got the certificate for being balanced and consistent in completing all the online modules without getting any reminders. Wow, that's great, Mulinga. Congratulations to you once again. From grade four, oh wow, well, she's my special girl too, Saira. From grade four, we have Saira for being an inquirer and reflective learner. She's been working very hard on her work and asking for questions uh, to do her best. So well done, Saira. Congratulations. And this is for you. Okay. From grade three, we have mm -mm, we have Maya for being an inquirer. 
she reaches out to ask questions for clarification and support when she requires it. So thank you. Great job, Maya. You're doing well. Congratulations, and this is for you. Awesome. Congratulations, Maya. I see Sally's here. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Leon. Great, guys. Awesome. Good morning, Mohammed. All right. Moving on to our grade twos. Grade two. This year, this week, from grade two, we have Gabriella. Gabriella has been knowledgeable by doing detailed and thorough work while learning online. Congratulations, Gabriella, and this is for you. A big round of applause. Okay, now moving on to my class, my lovely grade one. And this week from grade one, we have Alishba. Congratulations, Alishba. She's been balanced. She's shown great level of independence during her module. Example, she records herself wherever a recording is required. Uh, she's also connecting herself uh, to the Zoom calls independently. She doesn't require um, help to do that. So well done, Alishba. Well, keep up the good work and this is for you all right and moving on to my last learner profile certificate announcement how can I forget my beautiful kindergarten from KG this week we have we have we have Kara. Congratulations, Kara, for being knowledgeable. She's been reflective and a fantastic communicator. Wow, that's three attributes, Kara. Congratulations to you. She has been uh, joining the Zoom call, always ready to help and learn. She brings uh, thought-provoking ideas to the discussion and doing all her work in a timely manner. Lovely. Great job, Kara. You're a great example to all of us. Thank you so much. So, a big round of applause. Awesome, guys. So, a big congratulations to you all. A big congratulations to Kara, Alishba, Gabriella. Maya, Saira, and Mulenga. Keep up the good work, guys. Everyone, all of you out there is doing a fabulous job. So congratulations to you all. And make sure you give your pat on your back for this because you all are wonderful. Good job, guys. All right. Now, moving on to my next announcement. Now, Moving on to the next announcement, I wanted to thank uh, all my parents for taking up this week's jump rope challenge. Oh my, my. So it was not just the kids who participated this week, guys. We also had some entries from parents. So well done, guys. That's a very courageous act, I must say. So yes, keep putting in. We are still receiving entries from you all. Uh, Keep posting it. Make sure you hashtag it so we know, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, displayed and in the right place. So, yeah, we're looking forward. I'm going to put one soon. So I'm looking forward for some more entries today, guys. The Jump Rope Challenge this week. That's right. It's coming to an end by this Sunday. So make sure you add yours very soon. All right. Moving on. I know all of you all are waiting to know what our next week's challenge is it that's right what is our next week's challenge surprise suspense <laughs> All right, I'm not going to waste more time and I will tell you about the next week's challenge. Our next week challenge is called Create a Poem. That's right. It's something very simple, something very subtle, something very thought-provoking, guys. So, next week is Create a Poem challenge, okay? Now, in that, you have to make sure that your poem is 
very particularly rhythmic. Uh, you can uh, say this poem orally, you can record yourself, or you can even submit your written work. So it doesn't have to be that you're out coming out and saying it yourself. You can even write it beautifully and post it and we'll read it for you. Um, mm. And it has to be emotion stirring and mood creating. That's right. So yes, when you're ready with your poem, we are looking forward to reading your poem. Make sure you post it. Make sure you hashtag it, guys. It's called hashtag a poem challenge, DIA poem challenge, and hashtag DIA academic continuity. Don't forget to hashtag it, guys. Let's see who all is here. Hi, Quelly. Good morning. Hi, Rishma. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Ryan. Good morning, Giacomo. All right. Good morning. Good morning, George. Good morning, Pala. Good morning, Dylan. Welcome. Welcome to our PYP assembly. All right. So um, moving on to my next announcement, PYP. Um, this week, we have started something uh, special for our teachers. Now, as you all know uh, that, you know, behind the scenes of all these modules and all these uh, work that's coming in online to you all, uh, teachers are working really, really hard. Um, so we thought, why not uh, you guys know a little bit more about your teachers? You know how they teach, you know how they plan their lessons, you know how they um, you know, like to play with you and do a lot of different things. But we're going to give you an opportunity to know them better, to know a bit more about them. Yes, that's right. Sometimes, you know, when you see us in supermarkets, I see kids being super surprised and their eyes are wide open because they think that my teacher actually lives and sleeps and eats in school. She doesn't come out of school at all. Well, that's really not the case, guys. We do go home. We do have a lot of fun stuff, stuff to do outside school as well. So get to know your teacher better. So this week onwards, we have started a segment called Teacher Feature. That's right. It's called Teacher Feature. And this week, who is featuring? Who is featuring? It's lo our lovely Miss Sabiha. I know you all know Miss Sabiha. Miss Sabiha teaches kindergarten and she also takes the gardening club in our school. And I'm going to tell you all a bit about Miss Sabiha, guys. So, um, Miss Sabiha, uh, you know, she loves to play uh, a lot of different kind of sport. And would you like to know what kind of sport she likes to play? She likes to play football. She likes to play badminton. She loves to go swimming. Um, she loves to, you know, enjoy spending time with her family. And she also loves baking. Now, how many of you all didn't know that, that Miss Sabiha likes to bake? That's right. She loves baking, guys. So make sure when we are back, ask her to bake some cupcakes for us. Okay. Her favorite color is purple. Wow. That's very interesting to know, guys. Now, if you want to know more about Miss Sabiha, all right, you're going to go to our Facebook page after my live assembly is done, and we're going to post some more information about Miss Sabiha. So go dig in and find out more about your teachers. There's many more going to come up, guys. So yes, get to know them more. That's right. This is a great opportunity, guys. So yes, that was teacher feature. Up next, there's something, uh, a very important announcement, guys. As you know, Ramadan is coming to an end and uh, uh, Eid would be possibly on Monday. So we might have a Monday off. It's going to be a public holiday. So which means that, um, yeah, there will be no Zoom classes on that day. So I see some of you guys are already going, yay, no classes on that day. But hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. All of your classes are going to be rescheduled. Mm -mm -mm, that's right. We're not going to miss that day, guys. Yes, though we have a public holiday, but all of your teachers will be rescheduling that class. So make sure you read today's weekly connection and see where your class has been moved, on what day and on what time your classes have been moved. If you have any questions, reach out to your teachers. And happy Eid to all of you all there uh, out there who are going to celebrate on Monday. So happy Eid. Um, that was the Eid holiday announcement. 
Up next, guys, okay, this one is a very important announcement, and I want everyone to hear this out. Um, at the end of uh, every academic year at DIA, um, in PYP, we all do a reading assessment. That's right. You heard me right, guys. Uh, there will be a reading assessment that is going to be carried out in our upcoming module, the one that you're going to receive today. That's right, the module 9 that you're going to receive today, guys. So uh, we want parents to make sure you go through it, you read it. Um, this time, uh, the reading assessment is going to be a little different uh, than what we used to do at school as we have gone into virtual learning, guys. So it's very important that you uh, read the instructions well and you do these reading assessment by next week. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teachers as soon as possible. So you are on time in submitting your modules. So good luck, all my students, with your reading assessments. You all are wonderful, wonderful readers. So good luck. Um, up next, oh my God, up next is the most, most important, important announcement for today. What is happening today? <laughs> That's right. Last week, I made an announcement, guys. Grade 5. Yes, Grade 5 exhibition is up and ready for you all. As you all know, that Grade 5 students and teacher, Ms. Deepa, and the mentors who were involved in uh, shaping up all our lovely students, helping them out, supporting uh, them throughout this journey of um you know doing this exhibition so finally the final product is ready and it's out there guys you will see a post uh, right after this assembly uh, posted on our facebook go to the link grade 5 exhibition is up there guys a big congratulations to all our grade 5 students and miss deepa miss deepa thank you so much for your hard work um it's a, I, i'm sure i've seen some of the work already guys i think the kids have done the students have done an in incredible job so congratulations i want all the parents all the students to go check this out today guys it's brilliant yes it's brilliant i must say leave a comment let us know what you feel about it and yep we're looking forward to seeing you guys um out there so yes and a link will be shared so that you all can view you can share it with your friends and families around the world let them also have a look and do let us know how you feel about the grade five exhibition Yes, um, so that was the grade five exhibition that I have. Um, I guess we are done today with all of my announcements. Wow, that was quick. Let me see who joined me today. Um, there you go. We have Rayanj right here. All right, guys. So a bright new day, a bright new morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining in. I... I had a great time doing this assembly today. Have a great weekend. Make sure you submit your module today by 2 p.m. And the new module will be up uh, by this afternoon. So make sure you have a look. Use your DIA planner to plan your week well so that you know everything is going smoothly. So yeah, have a great weekend. It's going to be a good long weekend. So you all deserve this break. Enjoy yourself and stay safe. Spread the love and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for joining our PYP Assembly.